desirable outcome unless you're playing soccer or football or something, right? Where <laughs> combat is what you're, what what the whole point of the game is. I was reading a book in advance of this podcast by Daniel Schachter, who researches the mind uh, and how the mind remembers and forgets. And in the book, he argues that we don't remember in the sense that we simply retrieve a document from, you know, digital storage. Instead, we continuously reconstruct our past. And as we do so, we rewrite memories so that they conform to our present preferences. And um, this is echoed in, in some of your work as well. Uh, and it, it, it makes, I think, uh, our memory very adaptable, which is perhaps a good thing, but also malleable, which doesn't seem like a good thing. How do we reconcile this um, and, and how should we view our memory and, and utilize it in the best way? Well, Dan Schachter was one of my professors when I was an undergraduate. And I learned about the reconstruction of memory from from him, actually. And I learned about the whole literature. So it's not just him. There's a whole literature on, you know, percept what you perceive, what you see, what you hear, constructed, what you remember, constructed, what you feel, constructed. It's all constructed. Your brain doesn't detect. It constructs. And the thing that's important to remember is exactly what Dan said. You're not retrieving information that's nothing is stored anywhere in your brain. Your brain is reassembling every time you perceive something, see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, remember it, feel it. It's all about reconstruction, reconstruction using pa the past. That's you can see it as a bug or you can see it as a feature because it means that you can always reassemble past experiences in a novel way. And this is one of the most powerful capacities of the human brain um, so that you are not trapped in your past. You can reconstruct or reassemble in new ways to um, experience your past differently.